What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Romeo Master Let's Play as the Brutii. So to pick up where we left off, we were going to attack the City of Thebes, but it turns out that's a bad idea with just a single Onager. Actually, it's an epic stone wall, not even a large stone wall. So yeah, can't do that <laughs> with one Onager. So we actually need to build siege defences. This force is pushing up towards Memphis. Got this force in Alexandria. Got this force sailing along the border to Jerusalem. Got the Egyptians, if we, who look like they want to make a mess of it and get up to some mischief. Actually, who are you? I know you've already assassinated someone. You have not, Assassin though. Ready. Neither of you. Assassin ready. Ptolemy Casaros. Merchant there. There he is. Nope. Missed him. Assassin ready. Well, merchant there. There we go. Oh, it's a different one. Bonk. Yeah, this guy got him. Tiberius the killer. Too right. He is a killer. Salamis is un. Wait. They were red. And then I clicked them and then they were. Okay. They don't like being observed. Um, right, so let's check thing. Got some assassination missions missions. Last turn we also took city of Massilia. Which we're gonna do a bit of recovery from. Uh, this army is also on the move. Actually you need to come up retrain. Are they Praetorian are they legionary? They are. Praetorian needs to go even further back. Yep. Uh, but this army here and the Servius needs some archers and some more cavalry. Two archers, two cavalry, probably. So let's get the archers from uh, Suggesta. Then Rome can probably provide... Well, we can take this Praetorian cavalry and this Legionary cavalry. It's about to be recruited at Elysium. So let's hit in turn. My spy is creeping up towards Scythia. My other army is actually... Actually, my... Do I make attacking Carthage my last target? Maybe. That's my men. Continue to wander up. Gee, I desperately... <laughs> Spain, please help us fight the Brutii. They're mean. Spain sat there going, but we've done nothing. Hey, they've attacked us with a Quinquamarine. We beat them. Psych! Hey, the Egyptians are actually sieging us at Sidon. Sidon, Sidon. What are the odds they actually siege us, though? Uh oh. Don't do it, Scythia. Can you guys hit the rebels? They're just a bunch of spear arm peasants. And then march up. Looks like Scythia. Scythia is up to no good. Or they've marched to where I am because my my troops are there. In which case then let's retrain. And build a legion barracks. Why can't I recruit actual troops? Oh well. Recruit some Praetorians. The same sort of problem up here, it looks like. Even they've got a city barracks that can recruit early legionary cohort. I have. Oh no, mine are all legionaries. Let's merge them together. Run the cavalry up to the front. So you're pushing up to the Armenian territory. Zak is pretty safe. Tarsus is going to stay how it is. The Egyptians have actually attacked us, which is pretty cool. The question is, will they actually fight us properly? Let's deploy this army. 
let's do pull the old switcheroo. So now we know they've went decided to lay siege to us. Oh, that's two armies near Antioch. Oh, that's pretty, pretty dodgy. Okay, let's get. Any man that could provide any sort of use. Tarsus, churn out legionaries. I mean, if they try to. Oh, actually, a big chunk of these Nubian spearmen. Desert Axemen. Onagers. They're definitely coming in if they go for us. Ah, Mr. Philator. Philopator. Bonk. He's down. Okay, so it's more important than ever that we... Ooh, Memphis. You fortified up. Nice. Let's retrain. To be honest, because now we've got some actual interesting battles to fight, it's tempting to not waste time fighting a diddy one like that. Which is we're also pushing up towards Trier, Trier, Trier. Put them under siege. So we've currently got enough cities under siege to end the campaign. What I want to do. You guys over here. And land against Carthage. And attack that oldest of enemies, oldest of foes. So let's auto Thebes exterminate people. Let's take, let's get rid of the secret police headquarters. Get rid of the Temple City, Juno and Sewers. Also repair some of the other stuff. Hey, they, they don't like us. Well, I mean, understandable. Retrain and start to build up garrison force out of the local population. That should help locate them for a bit. You need to wait to attack Memphis. You need to wait to attack Carthage. So let's not... Ooh, the city grows. Sparta. There we go. Ooh, I didn't do my building browser. Croton, build a grid and market, it's just going to build a arena, Cardonia build militia barracks I suppose now, Aquinson build forum, Sardis build Curia, and a mine, Nicomedia build a scriptorium and a great forum, Ankara build large stone walls, Tillis build epic stone walls, Synop build an arena, then a, then a academy, scriptorium. Capua build a amphitheatre, Antioch build a temple, Rome build a temple, Batavium build an aqueduct, Campus Lassigate in the north build a temple, Millennium build a Colosseum, Siwa build Temple, Lovacis can't put anything. Everyone else is generally okay. Okay, let's click N10. Uh, don't be my. Oh, that's my. Oh, good. Okay. I was thinking that was my that bad result was my uh, army marching towards Carthage. The Egyptians are coming. There you go, the Scythians. They're not going to cross over the river to the south. There isn't a crossing, I don't think. So then let's take this guy. Just keep building... 
keep building towers as you can. S force here that's a bit knackered. Sail, deposit your troops. So you can hit Carthage because I want to then take this army. Servius Linnaeus and go hit the Egyptians here. There used to be a way to work out... So if I do that... There used to be a way to see what how much, what kind of siege preps they've done, but I can't see that here. Well, let's take this army here, Servius Linnaeus, and let's go and assault the Egyptians here. At Memphis, take command of the Great Pyramid. Ultimately, cause some real problems. Well, say so so create some real problems. We are one turn away from the, the end of this campaign. So that should be... Let's just start, start the deployment. Command either, capture either side of the towers here. You men try to get up onto that wall, that section of the wall there. Line my archers up. Legionary cohort can sap, correct? Yes, it can. So put a block of troops to support them there. Okay, I'm going to keep some units. We'll give the wall some extra support if they need it. Though it looks like they are going to defend the walls pretty hard. They are trying to burn my towers. I'm fairly sure archers weren't enough to destroy these towers. But they could well be. To be honest, they could it could have been one of the things they rebalanced. I'm fairly sure it was the tower below, the next, you know, the tower below this against the lower level of fortifications. But that worked. I mean, these. You're gonna kill your own men if you fire those. The main risk of this one is they don't come under fire from that tower. Okay, let's get run these early early legionary cohort. So we do need to actually get more men up on the wall. I mean, even though they're archers, they're pharaoh's bowmen, so they aren't they're not as easy to kill. They're a bit sturdier than regular archers. And again, all these guys on the flank are a bit vulnerable. But we have enough men to secure the gates. If you guys run, you don't go in there any quicker, do you? I mean, you're, that's a dangerous firing position there, right? Okay, actually firing across. Looks like they're not doing a great job, but well. It just means that one army, one unit here is going to very easily go west and hit these pharaoh's bowmen. The other arm unit is going to... There we go. So the Praetorians attack 
and the other, my legionary cohort attack this unit of pharaoh's bowmen. These men swing to the left to secure the gates. You men can hit those bowmen there. There we go. The walls are taken. So they should start firing against the Desert Axemen and the bowmen. I'm surprised these guys aren't getting shot from that tower there. There we go. So they are causing, doing some damage, especially to my early legionaries. These Praetorians are broken. Let's get these guys over to break and kill those units. And then my men here, these Praetorians can kill that last guy. And you guys fight them. These guys also go fight, turn around to fight those pharaoh's bowmen. So let's get, it's too much, it's tempting just to smash a legion recovery unit straight into these desert axemen. Javelin men in here, but you should just be cutting them to shreds. The walls are taken here, so let's then take these four units and run them in. Started hurling stones at. The sap has collapsed, but the engineers can restart it. The sap has not collapsed. Oh, the sap did collapse. The, the Honages took it out. Okay, let's get my cavalry back out of there. See those units, they're, they're actually, those archers are doing a, a number on my guys. So these men here are doing a good... Okay, good. No, no. Legionaries stay away. May as well run my archers up to engage their archers. You guys leg it because you need to. Hey, Pharaoh's bowmen. So you guys hit those desert axemen in the rear. You guys get up here and hit those desert axemen before those guys. I mean, they are breaking anyway. Yeah, all my men on the walls of all Praetorians, they've all died trying to fight Pharaoh's... Oh, there's actual Pharaoh's guards, spearmen on the walls now. My archers fight, shoot against them. You men get up here and try and protect my men there. Those guys are taking a lot of archery damage from those bowmen. Who's actually in the center? Heavy chariots. Go 
Oh, they're actually sniping my guys off the wall with the Onager. It's my archers' it's time to get some. Okay, focus on the bowmen. These guys are actually upset. Fighting Pharaoh's bowmen, and granted they're being shot at by Pharaoh's bowmen, is enough to make them turn tail and run. This cohort need to immediately turn around. They need to run over here and fight the Pharaoh's guards. How many have they got? 34 or 33? You guys push forward and hit the onagers. Let's get my general in here to knock out those pharaoh's bowmen. You fight the onagers. Some of you guys need to just. Some of you just need to run past what the hell is going on here. Your general now lies dead what? What? Men will lose heart. A general versus Pharaoh's bowmen. on the wall. Actually no you're okay you've already got more Praetorians on the wall. Trying to engage their archers. So my general's dead. That's not terrible. I mean, chariots is what I'm not looking forward to fighting, but that's why I've got a bunch of infantry here, because my Praetorians should be good enough. Well, I say that. I mean, my cavalry can't get on the wall. These units are stuck fighting the Onagers. My men can't take the wall. Run my archers in. Those guys are broken. Good god. These pharaohs bowmen. Ignore the Onagers. These guys need to... Cause look, those pharaoh's guards, those are sturdy AF. Okay, you guys can now push on and hit. I mean... Don't tell me you're not... Don't tell me those don't count, because they're definitely out of the... So many of my... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not taking this city. Oh my god, that's been... That's... that's Those pharaoh's bows, man. They... They don't screw around. Everyone else is routing for some reason. These archers are all dying. Okay, now they've taken the gatehouse. 
Oh my god, Pharaoh's bows. <laughs> That's just, just, just let what's going to happen happen. To be honest, like these guys are going to get shot to bits. There is no withdraw button. Charge into the pikes, just straight into them. Just straight in. That was those. The ability of those... I mean, you guys don't have a retreat button as well, but how are those bows just managed to withstand Praetorian Cohort? Like, how do they do that? Like, there's no... With... Okay, there's the withdrawal button. There we go. God. Like... They're bowmen, they're archers, they're pharaohs bowmen, but how do they do so much? Like, my guys are breaking at a drop of a hat on top of the wall, and then when they break, they just freeze. So there's a bunch of them. I should know that. Well, where do they all go then? Are they all routed? Because they're definitely not all dead up here. Oh, why are you there? Okay, I'm just going to exit battle. Because... God, yeah, that was really bad. That was... I never knew Pharaoh's bowmen were so good. God. You could even have them leading a charge up the walls. That was just... Yeesh. But that's why you have backup plans. They're going to not like me at all for that. For this. But if I actually, to be honest, if I keep my general in there, yeah, they then stay okay. Then let's keep churning out legionaries to immediately add volume. I mean, I don't think I want to attack them. I think I want to just sit here and just let them <laughs> stew. Um, okay. Hold on, I might quickly restart my game because it's got a bit frame ratey for some reason. So. Uh, save it and wait. Let's play file. Cool. Um, just a second, everyone. I'm going to restart. And I'm back. And goddamn, that was. They were sturdy. They were real sturdy. I never knew. I mean, I knew Pharaoh's bows weren't terrible. I didn't know they were that good. Let's move up our cavalry up this force near Mediolanium. You men can retrain as much as you possibly can. Then we've got this force here attacking Trier. What I'm tempted to do, to be honest, is we're very much in the end game. Ah, and we're also at Kotai. Kotai. I can't assault it immediately, but let's just make our way in. Oh, I can. I could if I wanted to. But I don't. Uh, I think I want my last, my last battle, my last victory, hopefully, to be against... Uh, Carthage. They finally laid siege Antioch. It's a lot of men They're piling in there. I mean, they're trying to break out of their port. They sunk their fleet. Hello, Scythia. What do you want? You going to declare war on me like a chump? We must go our separate ways. Our thanks. Kel surprise. Domus, 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 Domus. So it means somewhere there's probably a city and army marching on my. There it is. Get you guys back to the city. Do some merging. Take these weak units back. Well, there's no point retraining 
that fella. Let's pick up some archers. Okay. You men can all be disbanded. You men that were going to go over there to fight the rebels. I don't really care about the rebels. You guys go over there. I mean, we are... So if I maintain siege, what have they got? Sacred Band! Uh-oh. Sacred Band are pretty good. Pretty better than what I've got. Um, okay, so how am I doing in terms of my objectives? Two more regions. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, I don't want to fight the Egyptians again. <laughs> they did good. They did real good. I mean, Sidon's not a... Sidon's a... F it's an easy... <sighs> Hmm. I suppose I gotta do because the rest of the battle is looking e too quote unquote easy. I'm gonna have to kind of do this one, I think. If, if Even though I want, definitely want to move as many men as possible up here as well. Yeah, they didn't like that. Let's have another pop. I mean, they are quite elite. They are armoured. The desert infantry are really good. No. Oh. I mean, I've got urbans and legionaries this time. Well, let's do it. Let's try and see if I can actually do it. At least we've got a an entrance this time. Oh, they repaired it, eh? Right. I mean, okay. Because they repaired it, I definitely don't want to do that. So, we lose a, we lose a, we lose a token amount of troops, but we definitely don't want to do that because I want to try and. I was, I thought I'd have more ways in, so I thought I'd at least have my sap point. And then my artillery will make a second entrance. Does mean we break off the siege. You men keep them under siege. Keep building stuff while these guys come back, come in to re attack. Just attack Jerusalem. <laughs> Ultimately, I've got battles all over the front, and because I'm I'm fairly resolute that this is going to be my this is likely to be the final episode of the campaign, then I would like that final battle to be Carthage. The rest kind of doesn't really matter. Start deployment. Two sap. Okay, I definitely don't want to trundle my. Siege towers down there. Okay, get some legionaries to sap. Oh, that's made of urbans over there. So let's give them a unit of Praetorians each. To be honest, you can each have a unit of early legionaries as well, with an aim for them to go run around capturing walls. To be honest, they may as well all go up on the walls to take them. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe not all. Although they may. No, I'm a, I'm 
dumb. There we go. Let's put a unit to go through each of these breaches anyway. Got our archers, got our cavalry. Lots of pharaohs, guards, and Nile spearmen. More of those accursed pharaohs, guards. Good Roman engineers and narrow work. It can only be a matter of time before the walls and Speed up time. That tower is alight, which is not good news. This is a step on the path to victory. The towers are at the walls. So we've at least we're at least going to take. Well, no. To be honest, there's no need to have three units on the wall. They've abandoned it. So one army, our urban's going to go capturing some walls, which is a bit of a okay. You guys run and get into a good position because unfortunately they're getting some. Oh nuts! I pulled my uh, own headset out of. I pulled the cable of my headset out from my headset. That's unfortunate. That's a lot of dead urbans right there. That would have been very useful in the f in the city. Okay, let's speed up time. Because right now we can't really do anything until yeah. Actually, you guys might run cross this way and capture the gate in which case then these legionaries can yeah it's going to be risky and we're going to lose a few men most likely but it means that we can capture these inner gatehouses and potentially the gate itself yeah it's going to be a bit of pathfinding But at least it means we're going to take that tower. Got a way in. Have gone well. The enemy walls are now undermined. Should kill a few there from the walls. From the works tumbling down. Still firing. These urbans are likely to run into some problems when the pharaoh's guards get within range. So if I can bring some archers over here to engage this block of pharaoh's guards, or hope that pathfinding helps me out. What we want is for them to run around and capture. If they can capture these, ah, Pharaoh's guards. Some Pharaoh's guards are running through the wall. So my archers to engage Pharaoh's guards. So if we can take, we, can, we haven't taken that tower, what we have done is allowed our, our cavalry to run in a great swarm through the gates into the central Let's get our urbans involved before they Let's get our legionaries down off the wall as well Secure that tower. 
At least while you can, you can do some real good work. I don't want you guys to fight. Even though that's what you're exactly going to try and do. I want you guys to run around into the Desert Axemen. Just ign This tower is going to get some shots off on you. At least for a while. Until we take this tower. Then this tower should do some good stuff for us. It's a big old block of Desert Axemen though, so they're not... They aren't chumps, but let's take this opportunity to shoot some... get some free shots at the Pharaoh's guards. We've got to bear in mind is cavalry doesn't do a great job at trying to take buildings. So we've got Nile Spearman, there is Bowman, so I would hope. That, that guy would do something. We could definitely lose our cavalry doing this. Chiefly because it's a, a fairly armoured unit that we've got. Put on those guys. Okay, they've. Okay, you guys. Okay, those guys are routing. They're doing a lot of damage to my cavalry, so let's keep them away. There comes the Nile Spearmen. Let's get in there. Charge them in the flank or miss them entirely. That's up to you. Surprising that the towers aren't actually engaging them. I mean, I thought they would have. to go attack those pharaohs, bowmen. There we go, kill the general and that unit of pharaohs, bowmen down here. So now we've got the this unit of Nile Spearmen broken. They're fighting to the death, but that fight won't be long. The Nile Spearmen are going down pretty ricky tick. You men bring them down. You guys make your way over there. There we go, these men are all celebrating for the fantastic job they've done. 
now make your way over to the square to help knock out that last unit. There we go. We're paying back. We're paying you back for the slaughter of our brothers. Okay, you guys charge them. So you guys are going to have to sit there. Actually, you're wavering, so I might keep you moving. They're still the target of the Desert Axemen. They've not turned around and gone, alright, we'll fight the guys that are trying to kill us. Okay, now they have. So run those cavalry out, charge those guys in. You guys charge in. Good God, that guy went flying. There's only 12 men left on the square. There we go. Fight on the wall has been done. Good. <laughs> I got smashed. Well, I did take it back, god damn it. Ugh. Whew. Fee you. God, Egypt is a good faction, especially when your bowmen can do stand up to a pummelin like that. Let's exterminate the population here. Oh, gold. Gold. Uh, one thing you won't like is us knocking down your temple city and your execution square. So let's get a shrine to Juno, some basic walls and some sewers. And guess what? You don't have to worry about taxes anymore. Ready to sail. So we now own the Egyptian coast. But let's go to the final battle, which is... Or do I want some stuff? Maybe I want some stuff. Do I want to bugger it up? Okay. Got a new merchant. Nico of Jerusalem. Take those elephants. So let's hit end turn. So just we're creating more and more troops the brits are pushing not the brits the julii are pushing on the brits the julii are also attacking us at sea even though they don't actually have any more um oh no they do sorry they have nabo martius that's a port from which they can conduct warfare the egyptians have broken off the siege of sidon oh they've pushed they've sallied at memphis so withdraw. The Carthaginians have pulled back, which means we will get our, well, my my wish of a final battle at the city of Carthage. So let's go to over here. Imperator. Assault the city. Elephants full of elephants and sacred band. Right. Okay. 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 This might not even. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. So I'm probably going to want to. Well, use my siege towers up against the wall. Sacred Band are good. They're good infantry. But in theory, they are not as good on the walls because they're not in phalanx. But I'm going to really want to use my... If you can smell hmm. something right, that's your foes. <laughs> they're scared. 
and it's I'm kind of scared. But it's not a very dignified way to spend a night before a battle, is it? Still, that's what fear does to weaklings. Uh -oh. Carthage's army stands in the field. They are not worth fearing. They die as easily as other men. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low but that we've... no ally can be found to support we, them. We never have allies, so ugh, maybe you shouldn't keep pointing that out, buddy. Think again. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. They have brought many horsemen to this fight. We will have to be inventive in countering this threat as we lack spearmen. Well, I mean... The horsemen you're talking about is uh, camels, so not camels, elephants. Okay, I think I'm gonna want I'm gonna want to buff my the units I've got attacking the walls in the event that they do have their sacred band up there. My archers are going to be very important. Let's so get my let's get my onagers to start. It's a lot of sacred band up here. And they've got so they're camels and cam camels, elephant well roaming elephants, and one unit of round shield cavalry. I mean, their sacred band are more heavy armored than my guys. Done that. Praise the gods! The siege towers are at the walls. Now the real fight begins. Siege tower. Those guys. Okay, get it. I've got to say, those guys bugged out. Cease firing with the onages. So I fear we are going to have a right slugfest. Okay, great. There we go. These guys drop the ramp pretty rapidly. Good. They're not going to get cut off and be stuck in the middle. Archers use fire. Catch the catch these uh, sacred band in the rear. Fire arrows coming down to hit those guys. At least we've got the. So I should have one. How many units? So which units are up here? One six two and one more four. Okay, let's get one of these units.
get one of these units to start capturing some of these other walls. Well, I think I might have to halt fire and use the uh, archers a bit more specifically. I mean, this is great. We're firing a lot of arrows at one particular elephant unit, which in the end might not be the one. Well, we might need them in the middle. It's the urban cohort. Just keep running around. Let's push some men on to help fight in the center. All my archers are still firing, even though we've well, got fire at will turned on. Yeah, they do. Nice big block of men hacking down all these spawn, all these are uh, not hoplites, but okay. Let's throw our infantry into the mix. Not to me, those guys. Those guys might have to just charge the charge the elephants which isn't great because it looks like they're just going to cause lots of problems for us I need to start bringing in my archers I mean it's weird that the towers aren't shooting Get these urbans down off of the wall as well I mean at least I know they're elephants but at least they are like they're not armoured elephants So they will cause problems. But in theory, we should be able to bog them down with numbers. In theory. Maybe not. Maybe not of early legionaries anyway. Okay, let's try and get you guys. I mean, they're wavering. We're making a dent. Okay, kill as many as you can while they route. Where's my infantry? Let's get an urban cohort around to the rear of the sacred band. I mean, it is odd they're not being engaged. They're exhausted and they're running amok, which is nice. keep my archers up the, towards the front line. They go, they're going, we're coming downstairs! And they're like, no you don't want to. You want to go back up. They're getting cut to ribbons. Well, might not be a terrible idea. Can they even get in? I mean, the gate, the gates are mine. 
the gates are mine, but weirdly, I don't know. Is it weird? I don't know. There's no easy to, to get in either. Um, so what I want to do is, well, yeah, you guys keep hacking through the sacred band until you're eventually taking them out. So in the center, we got a whole bunch of war elephants. So what I, it's probably going to end up happening is something like that. But then I also need to take some of my infantry that's not so beaten up and also dump them in the front line. So while those men are moving up and while we are just hacking away on the walls, like these men are, are slowly making their way across. But that's a lot of elephants. And there's still a roaming elephant unit. Oh no, they're running amok. Right, okay. I mean, tactically, I think I could probably stand to go these are all Brutii. If I can get my elephants there, my cavalry, my, my archers there, they can volley fire into the uh, square. The enemies have been dealt with. So let's keep all my infantry in one place because I want them to focus. I don't want their elephants to run elsewhere. I want them to try and... That's quite a nice effect. The elephants are coming. General cavalry. Urban cohorts. These urbans are not walking. Those men are slowly getting off the wall. Come on, archers. Fire! Cause them upset. Where's my onagers? Okay, onagers. Break down a section of the wall. So it's only a matter of time before we start them running amok, and that might be good or bad, but what might also happen is what happens to these guys. They're just off. Order your men on to victory. Everyone firing? Yeah, they are. What we can do is try and upset them. At least if they're in a large group. It means that my arch, my arrows should theoretically be having a, a magnified effect. That like each volley is hitting so many more men. There we go. There we go. Watch out, round shield cavalry. So now they're running amok, I'm pretty sure we want to do regular shot. That's my other... My infantry is pushing up. Let's 
push up with our archers behind the infantry, but it looks like they are making their way downtown. Oh. My, these Praetorians are getting squashed. So my archers can pick at the round shield cavalry in the centre. Turn skirmish mode off. The light shield, the round shield cavalry is going, is charging in. <laughs> good, good guard. <laughs> they just went like that. And it's Julianus Brutus that's leading the charge against the final city, the final empire of well, the, the capital city of one of our largest remaining enemies. Um, but there we go. So Carthage is ours. Exterminate settlement. I've got nasty Brutus and short achievement unlocked and brutal victory Ch achievement unlocked. Rome is now safe under Brutio rule. All that was promised has come true under my strong leadership. The Brutio fist now wields the sword. Brutio hand now wields the rods that bring law to the world. This is why the Brutio have struggled for years, and now victory is here. Continue playing. Well. I'm, go I'm not going to click continue playing, but I'm going to click the tick. I'm not going to continue playing, I'm going to click the tick just so that we stay in the game. So, that's my first campaign of Rome Remastered played. And I don't know, it feels both easier and more difficult at the same time. It feels like the campaign is easier because I fought very few armies, big armies in this stretch, in this campaign. But the individual armies were qualitatively much better. Maybe that's because I'm now playing on hard, whereas back in the day, you know, years ago when I was playing Rome 1, I'd play on normal. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it. But uh, no, the AI seems more reluctant to actually assault. It's more like the AI in Empire. Uh, in Rome 1, they would you would see them build up stocks of ladders and rams, and then they would attack you, but in this, not so much. And the Bruti are always quite a good faction to go for. Usually it's difficult early game, because you've got to fight the Greeks and the Macedonians, which are quite developed factions, but once you get this area of the map, you're kicking. You're, like, you're, off, in, well, you're off to the races. Uh, we've got merchants are fun early game where they matter now I don't care I haven't really cared for a long time that's all my income if people are interested pop growth per turn is low I've just exterminated a bunch of people probably 63 generals 26 63 admirals and generals 26 agents 696 units I'm recruiting 37 units I guess right now well, the 37 units are in the queue. 25 buildings. A whole bunch of income. And I've managed to keep my family name pure. Tiberius Brutus had a son, Aulus, who had a son, Titus, who had a son, Tertius the Killer. Secundus the Lewd is now the faction leader. And really, Quintus Brutus will be taking up the next spot. Uh, considering the oldest, the, some of the eldest children of all died. Galerius the Wrathful. Um, but yeah, I'm... Hmm. I'm not... In, with this, I'm not... As a campaign, I'm not inspired to play it as a, a total world domination. But that could be because I just don't... I've not really got into it. I don't really know as much. Or maybe like, what I remember from the past is, is more... Whoops, sorry. My microphone just tipped over. What I remember might be more of a misremembering of the past rather than a true representation, I don't know. But yeah, it's been a fun campaign, but I don't think I'm going to continue it, so on that note, 
thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode of whatever i play cheers everyone